So the Lord wanted me to get on here and a lot of you may be unaware that this unaware that this is going on and I know the Lord is taking off um, the mass. He's re he's revealing and exposing um, those that your kingdom spouses have been aligned with right he the lord is opening their eyes the lord has opened a lot of their eyes just like i did the video when he said lazarus come out you know is bringing your your spouses out of uh spiritual death awakening their minds to the evil that have been um surrounding them and the wickedness to keep them bound okay the Lord was showing me uh, love spells that was cast upon them because there were certain women that couldn't let your spouse go. There were certain men that couldn't let your spouse go. So there were love spells. And um, so, you know, pray, you know, continue to pray that down. But the Lord is revealing that he's coming against that um, in, in this hour, like very, very strongly, very powerfully. The Lord is revealing, you know, the satanic covenants that your spouses were aligned in were um aligned with satanic covenants that were not were not from God that your your spouses were um, aligned with and it kept them walking in spiritual death um, the seducing spirits and the perversion from these individuals you know um, keeping them bound and a lot of you have probably experienced this in your life those that are standers um, we're praying, you know, that you experience, you know, being um, joined to someone that God did not call you to be joined to. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So pray for them, continue to have patience for them, but God is doing the work now and exposing what needs to be exposed now, calling your spouses out. They are coming home in the name of Jesus. Those satanic covenants right now are broken. Those love spells right now are broken. Every curse, every... Um, form of a witchcraft that was spoken over them, spoken over them to keep them bound. Right now, I sever it in Jesus' name. I break it. I dismantle it in Jesus' name. Every word that a witch is speaking that is they're trying to put forth, it is going to be crushed right now. Like, um, in the name of Jesus is crushed right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right now, your spouse's minds will be surrounded with the heavenly angels speaking to them, casting out all manner of distraction right now in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over every single one of your spouses right now and the warfare that they are going through right now. They are going through sleepless nights right now in Jesus' name. God is calling them in the name of Jesus. He is bringing them to him in the name of Jesus. He is bringing them out of darkness, calling them out of spiritual darkness into his marvelous lights in the name of Jesus. So you continue to have faith in the name of Jesus for what God has promised you and who he has ordained for you. This is, this is an assignment, but the enemy has an assignment and a plan to go to to stop you, to, to keep you from praying right and also to keep your your kingdom spouse bound because they desire to come out of whatever they have um, came in covenant with and they're crying out in the name of Jesus send love to them in the spirit and however God tells you to send love to them in the name of Jesus but the Lord our mighty God is calling the men forth in Jesus name he's calling the men forth right now in Jesus name I claim it and I receive it no demon in hell can hold them and keep them bound in Jesus name what God has spoken over your life and who has it aligned and ordained to be in your life they are coming forth. God has rescued you out of demonic covenants, child of God, in the name of Jesus, where you were once walking in flesh, but now you're walking in spirit and you're walking in truth in the name of Jesus. So continue to stand, continue to be steadfast, continue to be immovable, immovable. Ha, 
Ah, not easily shaken in the name of Jesus. You stand on what the Father has been speaking. You continue to, to press in love and in prayer in the name of Jesus for who he has spoken to be in your life, for what he has spoken over you. Continue to come into agreement and stay in agreement what God has spoken to happen over your life. Jeremiah 29, 11, Romans 8, 2, 8, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come on. Come on. Come on. Some of you want to give up, have the spirit of giving up. Well, that's the enemy. Hallelujah. Because we don't want to give up when we're in love with Jesus, right? We we don't we don't worship the promise in the name of Jesus. We pray for the promise, but we worship God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be steadfast, immovable, and you pray those prayers of faith over your spouse in the name of Jesus. They are coming home in the name of Jesus. You hold no record of wrong. You're going to walk in the power and 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 the might that God has placed in your life as he has he has endowed you with splendor woman of God and man of God in the name of Jesus to carry out this assignment on this earth and who you're supposed to carry this assignment out with in the name of Jesus it is done it is finished God is is bringing to fruition right now he's bringing forth right now he's manifesting right now in the name of Jesus what he has been speaking right now in Jesus name now your now may not be today your now may not be tomorrow in the name of Jesus it may be next month but God knows the appointed time in the name of Jesus and he's doing this thing he is saving he is the God that he loves to save and deliver he doesn't want to see not one man not one spouse perish not one child that's a prodigal child perish in Jesus name. He has been more than patient in Jesus name. So you continue to be more than patient, just like God has been patient with you. Because when they come home in the name of Jesus, it's a time of revival. It's a time to rejoice in the name of Jesus. It's a time to celebrate every day, every moment, no record of wrong, but you welcome them with open arms in Jesus name. Aha. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is good. God is good. He moved you out of flesh so you can walk in the spirit to walk by faith and not by sight in the name of Jesus to carry out what he has asked you to do in might to walk into your ministry with power unashamed to walk in your identity with power unashamed and not caring about uh, what other people are thinking about what God called you to do child of God in the name of Jesus you will go forth in power your ministry is going to shine forth in power for because of the glory of God and the splendor that he has put up on you and placed up on your life and that goes for you and your spiritual spouse as well the one that God has ordained for you the one that God has ordained for you because God is kingdom what we do is kingdom and who he calls to be in our lives are attached to the kingdom which is royalty in the name of Jesus so ah, hallelujah be encouraged be encouraged so many people have been talking and they laughing ah, but they're about to see the power of God in the way they have never seen it before because God is about to f- perform it perform that thing in your life in your life God is getting all the glory every knee shall bow every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord so many have people have been serving a God but we have been serving the true and living God he said child of God you will not be put to shame he's putting that in my, in my spirit right now Isaiah 54 4 read it in the name of Jesus Isaiah 43 um Holy Spirit, 43, 4, read it right now in the name of Jesus. Claim it over your spouse's life. We come against every love spell, every forms of witchcraft, every uh, word curse, every trap. Oh, we break those traps. We dismantle those traps. I sever those traps right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. Every trap that was spoken over your life in Jesus' name. I come against it right now in Jesus' name. It is severed. It is broken. It is destroyed. I bind every form of witchcraft being spoken over you over your spouse over your children right now in the name of Jesus I sever it I put it to silence right now and I cast it back to the abyss in Jesus name no weapon formed against you child of God or your family or your ministry or your promise Ah, no weapon form will prosper it will never prosper those weapons form but they fall to the ground just like the trap just like the traps that was set for Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and and Hammond those traps that was set for them hallelujah those people that made those traps fell in those traps okay no weapon formed against you child of God 
or your family or your promise or your inheritance will prosper. What is coming to you that was promised to the generations behind you is coming to you, generational curse breaker. You are walking in power. You are walking in truth. You are walking in might on this journey with the Lord because a lot of you have cried much. You have died to yourself much. You have repented much and it doesn't stop, but continue to die daily in the name of Jesus and trust what God has been speaking to you. Receive his power. Receive his 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 glory upon your life. Fall before him and continue to speak to him. Continue to let him fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Continue to let him encourage you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I come against every word curse, every lie from the enemy right now, every spell, everything that has been spoken against your life. It is fall to, is falling to the ground. It is done. It is, it is, I set it to fire. I come against it. It is devoured and consumed by the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your households. I plead the blood of Jesus over your spouses over your ministries right now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that the enemy is speaking and those that don't understand you, they're speaking lies against you. I, I can't, I can, I crush it right now and I silence them right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will live and not die, child of God. Child of God, your spouse will live and not die. What God has spoken to, spoken for you, it is happening in Jesus' name. You continue to stand in faith. God is not a liar.